Students, in this video, I am going to explain how to represent a rational number on the number line using successive magnification method. Okay. You know, rational numbers two types in decimal form: terminating decimal, non-terminating, repeating decimal. Okay. In the first example, I am going to take terminating decimal 2.874. It is terminating decimal. Okay. So how to represent this on the number line? First of all, we have to think this one. 2.874. It is greater than 2, but less than 3. Means 2.874. It lies between 2 and 3. Okay. So first on the number line, we have to search 2, 3. Okay. See. From somewhere we will take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like that, positive numbers, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, like this, negative numbers. In this, where it comes? 2, this is 2, this is 3. So our number 2.874, it lies between 2 and 3. Okay. Now suppose if we are having magnified glass and observe this. It will expand. Okay. So suppose it is magnifying 10 times. We will take this one as 2.0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 3.0. Suppose like that. Means this portion it is expanding 10 times. I will mark 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8. Two point seven, two point eight, two point nine, three point zero. Okay. Now our two point eight seven four it lies between two and three. Okay. Now once again think two point eight seven four it is greater than two point eight. Greater than two point eight because two point eight after also some number is there, but less than two point nine. Search here where it comes in this number line 2.8 it is this one 2.8 this one so our number lies between these two once again using magnification mirror search this it will magnify again 10 times suppose this is 2.80 and this one is 2.90 2.8, 2.9, okay, 2.80 is nothing but 2.8, 2.90 is nothing but 2.9, okay, same thing. Now here I will write 2.81, 2.82, 2.83, 2.84, 2.85, 2.86, 2.87, 2.88, 2.89, 2.90, means this number magnifies 10 times, okay. Now such the number, 2.87, it is 2.8 times this one. Where our number comes here? See, 2.874. It lies between 2.87 and 2.88. Means 2.874 is greater than 2.87 but less than 2.88. Where this number on the number line? This is 2.87 is 2.88 so our number is between these two <coughs> once again magnifies this into 10 times so I am considering this one as 2.87 and here it is 2.88 okay you put extra 0 also for easy okay now 2.87 0 that is 2.880 see 2.870 after that 871, 872, 873, 2.874, 2.874, 2.874, 2.874, 2.874, 2.878, 2.878, 2.879, 2.887, 2.887, 2.887, 2.887, 2.887, 2.887, 2.887, 2.887, 2.887, 2.887, 2.887, 2.
2.874 it is terminating as well okay so first search 23 on the number line divide that into 10 parts search 2.8 and 2.9 on this once again divide into 10 parts search 2.87 and 88 on the number line and finally divide 10 parts then you will get 2.874 now we will see next example non terminating repeat in this one students this time number is 3.58 bar 3.58 bar means 3.58888 it is repeating this is non terminating repeating decimal see this is non terminating repeating decimal this is also rational number okay how to represent this on the number line first we have to check where it comes actually 3.5881 so means it is greater than 3 but less than 4 so it lies between 3 and 4 so number line first number line 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so on minus 1 minus 2 so on okay so where are these two numbers 3 4 this is our portion in this now if you are having magnifying glass this you have to magnify it to 10 times okay so take this one as 3.03 3. and this is 4 okay divide this into 10 equal parts how to do that one see first middle one mark that one as 3.5 3 4 middle one is 3.5 now 3 after 3 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 4. Okay. Now where is our number on this number line? Say 3.588 so on, it is greater than 3.5. Okay, but less than 3.6. It is in between 3.5 and 3.6. So identify these two numbers. 3.5 it is here, 3.6 it is here. Now once again 3.5 right here and this one as 3.6. Okay. I am putting 3.50, 3.60. Divide this into 10 equal parts and mark 3.51, 3.52, 3.53. 3 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, and 3.60. Clear? Now, we have to identify numbers here. Yeah. See once again, 3.588, so on. It is in between 3.58. Okay, it is greater than 3.58 but less than 3.59. Okay, identify these two 3.58, 3.59. Here are numbers. So this one is 3.58 and this one is 3.59. Put 0. Now, once again, mark 10 equal parts. Okay, we are magnifying into 10 times this portion again. So, write the numbers in what color? Then? Okay, 3.58 like this 3 3.581, 3.582, 3.583, 3.584, 3.585, 3.586, 3.587, 3.588, 3 3.590. And where is our number? 3.588 okay so in this number line our number is this one okay so 3.58 3.59 both you can join here 3.588 so 3.58 bar we have to mark on the number line up to four decimals 3.588 up to four, up to three decimals. This is enough. Okay. Suppose up to four decimal means once once again you have to take again eight. Okay. You have to divide this again ten equal parts. 
like that you have to continue okay but uh, up to 3 days first i have finished yeah first what you are there 3.5888 so on means it lies between 3 and 4 on the number line mark 3 and 4 okay after identifying 3 and 4 now next number line 3 and 4 divided into 10 equal parts mark 3.1 3.2 3.3 like that identify there 3.5 and 3.6 because 3.5888 so on it lies between 3.5 and 3.6 okay now 3.5 3.6 on the next number line again divided into 10 equal parts and 3.588 it is greater than 3.58 but less than 3.59 okay so 3.58 and 3.59 again we have to divide it into 10 equal parts and finally we can get 3.588 on the number line okay students if you like my videos please share comment and subscribe my channel thank you